Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 54 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. In this episode we're going to be talking about the mob radar and the motion tracker. So the mob radar, which probably does exactly what you think it does, is crafted with a circuit board, two base panels, a 2x gear unit, a radar unit, and a screen. It's a little complex. And then the motion tracker is crafted with three steel ingots, a screen, a sonar unit, and a radar unit. So again, both of these things a little bit complex, but um, you know, pretty simple, not, not too bad. Um, I think that's an oxymoron, but anyway, um, both of these devices, now you don't need the motion tracker for the mod radar to work, um, it's just that if you have a mod radar, run, radar running, the motion tracker will do a little bit extra for you. Um, Okay, so first we'll take a look at the hello cow at the mob radar. It's like it looks like this. It looks a little radar dish, and it does take in power from the bottom, and it requires eight thousand one hundred and ninety-two watts as a minimum. However, if I whack it with this, it has a max range, and like most other things that have max ranges, you need to give it more power to get to those ranges. Now, the max range on this is currently twenty-four meters. Um, I'm not sure if this is the maximum maximum or if it's configurable in the config files. Usually, Rika has said uh, in the past, most of the things are. The max range is usually compa uh, configurable. So anyway, to get to the max range, um, I don't know the exact amount of power it requires, although if we go into its handbook uh, entry, it will give you the uh, equation. I just went ahead and gave it some more power. I'm currently giving it um, 24 kilowatt, so that's giving me the uh, maximum um, range. Now if I right click on it, we see this uh, radar like HUD and we can see all the map mobs that are in the area. On uh, there you see little faces, there's a squid, there's a spider, there's a zombie, there's two cows, three cows now, he's watching the range, and then there's me, the little Steve head here. Okay, so this is pretty darn cool, it shows you all the mobs that are in the area. All right? Now um, you may notice there's little brown lines moving around. Um, a cool, cool thing about this mob radar is that if you have a motion tracker on in your inventory, it doesn't have to be on your hotbar, it just has to be you know, in your inventory somewhere, um, it will draw these little lines on the mobs that you can see through walls. So if you go over to this cow, you can see he has a brown line attached to him, drawn through his middle, and these lines can be seen through the terrain. So we can see there's a, uh, like a silvery line uh, down there, or maybe something else. Um, so there's a line down there. See it moving around. And uh, creepers have green lines, and all these various things. So uh, pretty darn cool if you've got a mob raider running uh, in a dangerous area, and uh, you just have some motion tracker on you, and you can see the enemies before you can actually see them. So maybe you're in a cave and you're heading down the hallway and you're gonna go around a corner and oh no, a creeper's gonna blow up in your face. Well, if you have this set up and running and it's in range, you have a motion tracker, you can see a green line and be like, oh, there's a creeper over there, better be careful. Pretty neat. Now, the motion tracker does require power, okay? Um, this motion tracker currently says 32,000 uh, kilojoules. It does require power. If I grab this one out of the crafting station, it says zero kilojoules. And the way to charge it up is very, very simple. If I come over to the work table and I just take everything out, I place my depleted motion tracker in here along with a wine spring. This is just a high strength spring with a max charge. Uh, you, any wine spring will work. And if I simply place it in there, it jumps to the other side, the wine spring is depleted and the motion tracker is charged. Okay, so very, very simple. That's how you charge the motion tracker. So yeah, it's pretty darn cool. Now if, uh, I'll just um, get rid of one of these and then show you. Um, you can see I have the lines, if I chuck it away, no more lines. Obviously the radar still works, but if you have the motion tracker you don't need to look at the radar. Uh, you can just be running passively. It was pretty darn cool. I can see a lot of uh, applications for this, maybe in PvP. Um, definitely in PvP, if you've got like bases set up and stuff and you want to run a radar to uh, see if you can spot the incoming enemies. This does, this is very updating. I mean, this thing is not laggy. You see that, that, that cow walking and uh, it just updates on the mob radar. So it's really nice and real time, really cool. I quite like it.
and it's all animated too, it's all turning. So yeah, I like the mod radar, and I think it's really neat, the motion tracker especially. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Um, stay tuned for uh, videos coming up, of course, uh, Wednesday, you can have another episode of Let's Play, and uh, and we'll have some more tutorials coming, as well as a few other things. I want to do a couple videos on some other games. That's going to be really cool, um, things that I want to promote. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.